I am actually sweating, I'm shitting. Hi everyone, welcome back. It's been a while, I do apologize. I'll fill you in on one of my normal videos. This, however, is not a normal video and I recognize that a few of you might be watching this and thinking, who is this woman? <laughs> Why is she talking about Kylie? Um, I ordered the five of the Kylie SKUs when they launched last week. It took seven days to get here. Eight days? I ordered it on the day it went on sale, which was the Wednesday, it arrived Thursday, so fine. Um, it arrives like this. Uh, I've covered my dress, obviously. And then everything's in here and it's all fine. I would say, however, I'll talk about that in a minute. This is a bit, it's 2019, we don't need bubble wrap. It is a beautiful pink color. However, surely we could do the like, the chips that dissolve in water made from potato starch. Let's do that, shall we, Kylie? Let's bin the plastic. Speaking of binning the plastic, um, a notable exception from my first delivery was the wipes. Um, they, the Kylie Skin brand has makeup wipes. They are 10 pounds, $10 a pack. I did not order them because I hate wipes. They are abhorrent. They do not wash your face. They are bad for the environment. They're bad for your skin. I'm disappointed they're in there. However, to give you the picture, we're talking about a pink. It's so pink that we need a new name for millennial pink. If this isn't millennial pink, this is teen to early 20 pink. It's baby doll pink. It smells like baby dolls. It's not too vanilla-y. It just has that kind of soft plastic smell, which sounds really bad. It's actually quite pleasant. Um, this was designed by a team of advisors who want to make money. Let's just lay that flat out. Um, I do think Kylie genuinely uses it. Uh, I have more to say on that in a minute, but it ticks every box in terms of the best-selling SKUs in the US market at the moment for this demographic. It's pink, it has wipes, it has a scrub, it, it has a foaming face wash, it's soft touch. It is a, it, it's a board of men. <laughs> it is their wet dream of a skincare range. It will make a fortune. So now that that's done, what I personally, would have preferred when Kylie did the launch and she did um, the videos that I'll link to below, basically showing you how she uses them and she talks you through it in, in her limited way and that's not being negative, at least she's not trying to pretend. Um, this comes with it, it says, hope you guys love your Kylie skin products, this is just the beginning. Good, because you're missing an SPF, but we'll come to that. Um, oh, I'm schwitzing, sorry. Um, the pros, okay, the packaging. It all looks like this. It's airtight for the most part. It's soft touch. It's a pleasure to use. Uh, the vitamin C is airtight. That's fine. The pricing isn't extra, sort of excessive. It's 22, I ignore the wipes, they're 10. It's 22 to 28, depending on whether you're buying the eye cream or the vitamin C serum. Um, it's the usual free of everything you would expect it to be. It's incredibly hard to read. This is definitely made for someone 30 years younger than me. Um, Gluten-free, vegan, paraben-free, cruelty-free. So all the free things that people like. Um, it has a couple of things I think are really lovely. It has a couple of things I think belong in the bin and should be discontinued ASAP. What I will say is this, if you've checked in to see me tear to shreds a 20, 21 year old woman, uh, because she chose to change how she looked over the last four or five years, you're at the wrong channel. Um, I was doing some research and clicking through from her website and I googled uh, Kylie Jenner's skin, da, 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 and what popped up was a video from Joe Rogan, who is massive here on YouTube, massive. Um, and frankly, the way he and his pig ugly friends who don't own a mirror between them were talking about this woman, like she was a piece of meat, made me so rageful that I had to calm down. And I was, yeah, it wasn't pleasant. Um, Joe Rogan is my age. I'm just gonna dwell on this for a minute. He's my age. He's two years older than me. He talks about this woman, about what he wouldn't do to her sexually because she has a fake ass, quote. Uh, how she's changed the whole shape of her face, quote. Why do you care? How is it your business? I'm waiting. Also, do you own a mirror?
Here's the thing. The war on women that is happening, very clearly happening now. The Conservatives in this country are just starting to talk about it. Don't, don't do it. Don't go there. And the war on reproductive rights in the US that is happening literally in every single state. It starts with bullshit like Joe Rogan on YouTube, middle-aged white man thinking he has the right to tear apart a woman because she changed the way she looked. Fuck you, Joe Rogan, and your ugly ass friends. Shove it up your ass, and just so you know, your wife, the mother of your three daughters, shame on you, saves you in her phone as needle dick. Now, now that I've defended Kylie Jenner, something I didn't think I would have to do, let's talk about skincare, shall we? Okay, now that I've slightly calmed down, uh, one thing I would say against the way it was launched is I would have liked it if Kylie said, look, you guys know I've been seeing a dermatologist for years. Um, I've, you know I've had lip filler, I have Botox, I have regular peels. This is just a good basic skincare range. I don't think her fans would have minded that at all. I don't think, she, I don't, I don't think she's pretending that this skin, this skincare gave her that face. I don't think she thinks we're all that stupid. But I do think she would have gained brownie points if she'd have just said, I went to Dr, I think it was, is it Christy Kid? Christy or Christine? Christy. I went to Dr. Kid in Beverly Hills for years. I used to have teenage acne. She fixed it. I love her. You know, a woman's dermatologist is a best friend. Make a joke of it and say, this is a great basic skincare range if you are a young person and you just want to learn how to take better care of your skin. There's nothing wrong in saying that. But let's pretend the wipes don't exist. Let's talk about the walnut face scrub. I kind of was hoping it would be much softer in reality, and the reality is it isn't. It is a traditional walnut face scrub. I'm not a fan, it's too harsh. Um, it's not as harsh as the sort of traditional St. Ives. It is, uh, I had, I saw one reviewer on YouTube, I can't remember her name, but she, she was saying how it feels so much softer and almost spherical. Nothing about this is spherical. We had to get rid of the spherical, that was microbeads. Now you can have jojoba beads that are made spherical. This is not, this is crushed walnut shell powder. It is always gonna be jagged. So when you look at it under a microscope, it literally looks like mountain peaks. That's not great for your skin. And there's not really anything you can say to defend that. So I'm not a fan of the walnut scrub. I did buy it, but I'm not going to give this to Ava to use. I'm gonna keep it. I've learned I need to keep these things because I always need to come back to something for a reference. I'm not gonna throw it away. It's just gonna go in the, we don't talk about this section of the room. <laughs> okay, next up in terms of it's okay, it's not offensive, it's just a bit pointless, is the vanilla milk toner. As I said jokingly on my Instagram yesterday, not that there'll be any vanilla in it, uh, not that there'll be any milk in it, there isn't any milk in it. It's essentially 22, 20, I'll go through the pricing in a minute, $22 for what is essentially glycerin and squalane. Now that's perfectly fine, it's alcohol free. Like I say, it's not offensive. Do you need it? Not really. Um, Again, it smells, to me it smells like baby dolls. Uh, it's not overly scented. It feels fine on the skin. I wouldn't rush to use it every day. Uh, it, it kind of has no effect other than hydrating. And you will need to be rehydrated after you've used a walnut scrub. So maybe that's where they were going. It's, um, it's superfluous to needs. If you love Kylie Jenner and you wanna use a toner, you'll be fine with it. It's not gonna cause any further harm. How's that? The other three that I bought, now I did not buy the eye cream because the website was going glitchy. I'm still raging from Joe Rogan, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Woman of a certain age. Um, the website was going glitchy, so I quickly thought, okay, I'll just press empty basket and do it, and I paid for it, and I'd left off the eye cream. To all intents and purposes, I've heard the eye cream's very nice. I'm not gonna bother ordering it. There are approximately 50 eye creams on that shelf, and the good thing about her doing an eye cream is that she's telling people to use an eye cream. I will say, however, that the routines that they have put up on YouTube would drive anyone who works on skin for a living into the position of having a hernia, especially Kris Jenner's. I love Kris Jenner. I think she's hysterical. She's a, obviously a brilliant genius businesswoman. Say whatever you want, that woman knows business. But she did cleanse, scrub, toner, moisturizer, vitamin C eye cream or moisturizer eye cream vitamin C it was all back to front the second half was all back to front it felt a bit like they ran out of time and thought oh no one will notice <laughs> yes we will 
So vitamin C should go on a clean skin underneath your moisturizer. Ideally, you would use it in the morning. You can use it AM and PM if you want to. That is how you use it. That is factual. That is not me giving you my opinion. That is factual. My problem with the vitamin C is, it's not even a big problem. I'm glad she's done one. Vitamin C is great, it's antioxidant. It's $28, but it's only a 20 mil. It's quite unusual to go below a 30 mil in the serum section. So I would have liked to have seen a 30 mil, which would encourage people to maybe use it twice a day and then they would see more benefit. Also, it's a, to my knowledge, from what I can see on the print, I'm not kidding, if I show you this print, I, I had to like shine a torch on it. It is a water or fat, it's a fat soluble vitamin C from what I can tell. Um, it's water, then the vitamin C, and then everything else after it, and that does include oil, so it's kind of a bit of an emulsion, but everything else after it is less than 1%. So uh, a lot of it is what you would expect. It's core ingredients in big quantities, and then everything that they actually advertise as being inactive is in there at less than 1%. But that is not unusual in a range this price point sold to this age and this demographic. We're not talking about a vitamin C for a 50 year old face here. This is perfectly adequate for Ava to use, she's 17. If you're in your early 20s and you've never used one before, this will be fine. Um, it looks like a serum. It's not particularly, it doesn't smell. It's, it's, it's very pleasant to use. It's very pleasant to use. I think it's a little bit expensive for what it is and for the size of it. We also don't know the percentage of vitamin C, so, I would expect it to be on the milder side, purely again because of the demographic. When you are in late teens, early 20s, you don't need a 20% vitamin C on your face, you just don't. Now, my two favorites, and yes, I said favorites, so shoot me. The moisturizer. The moisturizer is um, richer than I expected. It is more hydrating than I expected, and yet it's not too much. It does have shea butter in it, so if you are and I'm a fan of the packaging, the packaging's great. Uh, this is metallized, this is soft touch rubber. Um, it absorbs really nicely. I've made everyone in the office try it, everyone had the same reaction, it's perfectly fine. The moisturizer was $24 and it's 30 mil. Oh, I lied, 52 mil, so that's fine. I would actually recommend the moisturizer, how's that? Um, feels nice on the skin. Like I say, this is a good base moisturizer for when you put your SPF afterwards. Uh, I again would have liked Kylie to say I haven't made one yet, but I'd really love it if you followed it with an SPF. So I'll say it for you, babe. Um, it's perfectly fine. Before I touch on my favorite product, I know, pick yourself up off the floor. Pricing, so I paid $134.95. That was $120 for all the goods. And then $14.95 international shipping. It took a week to get here. Perfectly fine and adequate. That's what you'd expect. There are customs charges, just be warned if you're bringing this into the UK, it's £8.50 for customs entry and then you pay VAT, so it's 20%, uh, just slightly less, I think, it's, I think it comes in like 17 it was £18.84, so I ended up in total paying almost dollar for pound, it was $134.95 and I paid £137.07 all in, so it's alright to be expected. Now, if I tell you that I tried this, you will know if you know me well, that I tried this thinking, oh, there but for the grace of God, my face is gonna fall off. And my face loved it. Uh, the foaming face wash, first of all, let's be clear. This is not your average fairy liquid foaming cleanser. There's no heavy SLS surfactants in it, it's SLS free. It's coconut derived, which is what you'd expect. It is the same pump as things like the Aveda Fomoliant, which I was on counter when that launched 20 years ago. So I'm glad she's using an air pump. It's rich and it gets richer the more you rub. There are, there are some negatives, don't worry. It's not all a shining blue Peter badge afternoon. Now, it is a really nice skin cleanser. The reason, as soon as I used it, the videos of the how-tos on her YouTube channel made sense. This is not gonna remove your makeup. It might take off a really light CC cream at the end of the day. It is not going to shift eye makeup, it is not going to shift a smoky eye, it is definitely not gonna shift waterproof eye mascara. So without doubt, her next venture will probably be a micellar water, or maybe I would hope for an oil-based cleanser. I know that's a pipe dream when you're talking to a Californian brand aimed at 20 year olds, but the foaming face wash is actually a very pleasant skin cleanser. It's great for a second cleanse, it's great for a morning cleanse, if I used it twice a day, it would be too drying for me, but like I said, this is aimed at women, girls, 30 years younger than me. 
maybe 20 years younger than me at a push. Ava could use this twice a day every day. She would not get any adverse effects. I'm sure she will love it. I had to bring it to the office before she got hold of it. I didn't want her to destroy the packaging. I wanted to take all my photography first. Um, it's, it's very nice, it's very pleasant. Your skin does not feel tight afterwards. It does not feel dry. If you'd like, I mean, even there, I have added no water and just taken it off and it feels really soft and smells fresh. So I have, I don't have anything bad to say about this. I know, no one is more shocked than me except maybe Joe Rogan's wife, but anyway. Um, it is, it's nice to use. It leaves your skin feeling very soft and comfortable, not dry, not tight. However, if you are older than 25 to 30, it probably would after a while because of the very nature of it being foaming. So it's not a ringing endorsement. It's not a makeup removal, even though it says on the back, cleanse the skin by helping, helping to remove dirt, oil, and makeup for a, a fresh, bright complexion. Um, there's a few things that aren't great like it says infused with ultra nourishing kiwi seed oil and yet when you look on the inky list the kiwi seed oil is like i can't even see it oh right at the bottom before phenyloxyethanol so they but you know like any brand you could pick apart any brand and people call them active ingredients when actually what they mean is the expensive part that we put in at a minute amount so that we can say it's in there so that aside the foaming face wash i think it's 24 $24. I like this. I would happily buy this for Ava and I would use it myself randomly. I'm not going to use it every day because it's not for my skin type, but if I had a more combination skin, it would be perfectly fine. The moisturizer is perfectly fine. It's lovely. It's not going to cause any further harm. The vitamin C is a good idea in essence, but it's a bit too small to encourage people to use the amount they would need to use every day or day and night. If you're telling people they can use it, Single pump each morning and, e and evening, you're gonna run out of this very quickly. And at $28 for a younger face, I worry they'll kind of be put off by that. Uh, the toner is nice, it's superfluous to needs. It's like a nice scarf. You don't really need it, but it's quite nice to use. The walnut scrub is as bad as you would imagine. I'm not a fan. Um, at least it doesn't have anything foaming in it, so it doesn't foam while it's tearing your face off. However, um, well, walnut shell powder, such, I'm telling you, look at this. Alcohol, da 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 da, da. Cetyl alcohol, it's fatty alcohol. Um, glycerin, squalane. What they've done is it, at, at the very least, what they've done is they've used a lot of glycerin and a lot of squalane across all of the skews to at least try and keep it soft and hydrated when you're finished using it. That is all a plus. So what I would change, I did make notes. Now, cons. Not mentioning the dermatologist and trying to make people think that perhaps you could have skin like Kylie just by using this. Just, you've got plenty of time to fix it. Just be a bit more honest in your future videos. Wipes and scrub in the bin. Tone is fine, it's not groundbreaking, it's not gonna cause you any harm, it's very pleasant to use. What is good and what I think we shouldn't forget is there is potentially a whole demographic of young people, predominantly girls, young women, who previously may only have used a face wipe and nicked a bit of their mum's moisturizer. If this is encouraging them to take care of their skin, then I am fully on board, as long as they've been the wipes. Um, the video routines need work. <laughs> I can lend you my people if you want some help. Just get an advisor who works on faces for a living. Let's not be putting eye cream on, on top of three other layers of product at the end. Let's not do that. Um, yeah, the toner I made notes and just said, you know, the apple fruit extract, the avocado oil, and the apricot kernel oil are all in there at minute quantities, and yet that's the thing they talk about the most. There's no problem in, I would have made it $15 and said this is predominantly glycerin and squalane, but it's really hydrating. Boom, sold. I would change the plastic in the packaging, the wipes and the scrub, the vitamin C, small, you need a better cleanser. This is not a makeup remover. It's great for a quick, light cleanse. Um, you need an SPF. Let's make sure that SPF is on your list. When people sort of came at them for not making one first off, SPF is incredibly expensive to make. Wait, I know she's loaded, wait. It also takes far more time than this. A, a good chemist could knock this out in two hours. Um, the packaging would take longer to source than the juice. SPF is not that easy. And if she's shipping it internationally, you have to jump through a lot of hoops. So I imagine she will bring out an SPF, but it will only be sold in the US because the testing for the UK is different, the testing for Europe is different, the testing for the Far East is different, and the testing for Australia is militant. So I understand why there's no SPF, but at least, my friend, 
when you're saying, you know, I went to my dermatologist and this is a great range, however, you can also get a brilliant SPF from your local pharmacy to use on top of it. Let's educate while you have the platform that you do. Let's finish on the pros. There's a lot of the usual ticks the box of everything that needs to be free. It's cruelty free, it's vegan, it's SLS free. Uh, the packaging, the air type, the pinkness, people are gonna love it. Uh, it's not extortionately expensive. Um, like I say, all in all, a pleasant surprise. And I, I don't really have anything negative to say aside from the two obvious product choices in terms of, let's just be a bit more educational about it. When you're talking and you're doing your videos, I understand you're just gonna do Snapchat, that is your medium. But if you can't use this on your eye makeup, then don't pretend that you can because that's disingenuous. So just things like that. But all in all, it's, it's perfectly fine. I don't see it doing any further, further harm outside of the scrub and the wipes. I know I sound like a broken record. But equally, you know, I'm not uh, all power to her. You know, if you, a little bit more education, um, a few more skews to make it a full set, and let's all uh, kick the middle-aged white male patriarchy into touch, shall we? Have a great day, everyone, and I will see you soon. Bye.